did 25, 30 years ago, we used to say June, six months. But this has changed now. We experience a short timer uh, and little coffee. And it appears about three, four times a year. So that's another problem. It's because of the climate. Our fathers and grandfathers, they know actually when it's dry season and uh, wet season. But at the moment now, it's changed. Well, these are the pandanus trees. Uh, it's a seasonal crop and about Christmas time, November, December, January, this will bear fruit. This is now September and some of them are almost ready to bear fruit, which shows that it's, the seasons are irregular now. Now, because of the climate change, it's getting warmer here in the highlands too. So, uh, uh, we say a change of crop and change of everything. They plant their gardens by the river, you know, thinking that they will harvest in time, but then the rainy season comes early and spoils the food crops. Many Papua New Guineans, I think, is thinking along that line that when a sea level will rise and a small island will sink. But people on mainland are not thinking that uh, it's going to have an impact on them as well. That the level of preparedness is very, very low. The environment is vulnerable, you know. The, the people and the resources that they are vulnerable. What we need is to provide them with adaptive tactics uh, and skills and policies. Maybe seven, El Nino, seven, eight, nine months drought. The banana and the sugar cane could be something that you can store or let it grow for a longer period of time and keep it. And then in the event of El Nino or another longer dry spell, then people can continue to sustain on those. Climate change will have affect everybody in the country. And you've got to learn how to adapt to it. Because there will be nowhere you can go.